Welcome to the Waffle Flower Channel. Hi everyone, it's Katie Gehring here. On today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be showing you how I combined the Peace on Earth stamp set with the Riverside and Homemade Christmas stamp sets to create this Alpine Village Christmas card. Let's get started. First, I pulled out the Peace on Earth stamp set along with a piece of white cardstock that I had cut to fit the front of a note card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half and some VersaFine black onyx ink. I'm going to position the large Merry Christmas and Happy New Year stamp set on the center of the card panel. And then I'm using my Misty, I am going to ink up that stamp and stamp it onto the white card stock. The reason that I'm using my Misty here is I wanna make sure that I get a really dark, good impression with the stamp. And the Misty is a great tool if you, um, need to maybe restamp or go over an area um, having the stamp positioner um, help you really does assist with that process so you can see that there are a couple areas where the ink just didn't quite transfer all the way so i am repeating the process and i'm applying some pressure with my fingers to those areas to make sure that i get a really really good crisp impression there so that's looking really good and i will be moving on to my next step I decided that I wanted my finished card to have some black ink spatters on it. So before stamping any other um, images onto the card and getting um, overly emotionally attached to the card itself, I went ahead and um, put the card in my spray ink box and using um, black dilutions, as you can see here, um, I just kind of um, spattered a little bit of ink onto the card. Um, spatter before you um, before you stamp your other images is a really great way to um, kind of test out the technique and make sure you're good with it before you're too um, attached and have too much invested into the card itself. Now I have pulled out my Riverside and homemade Christmas stamp sets and I'm going to be using some of the elements in this stamp set to create sort of a Alpine Village um, or really kind of a map of an Alpine Village looking Christmas card. Um, we spent some time over the summer in um, the national parks and, um, you know, just being there and looking at all the brochures and um, ephemera from our trip. I really like the look of this kind of camp map, if you will, um, with just really basic um, images and icons and decided to try to recreate that look here um, for a holiday card. So I went ahead and stamped the mountains using the Like a Pro um, Waffle Flower ink. And now I am inking up the river using um, Peace of Mind. I'm going to keep the color scheme for this card really super simple. Um, it's just going to include the um, VersaFine Black Onyx ink, the Like a Pro from Waffle Flower, as well as the Peace of Mind. Now I'm adding a few of the evergreen trees that are included in the Riverside stamp set, um, just kind of in a random pattern to give the impression, um, for the map reader at least, that um, we are in a forested area. So um, I'm going to stamp some of the trees just kind of in a, um, a bit of a random pattern, but I am going to make a point to stamp a few of them down by the, the Riverside. Now that a lot of my nature or natural elements are in place, I'm pulling out the homemade Christmas stamp set and using Like a Pro ink, I'm going to add a couple of those cute little houses and cabins um, to the scene. So I've decided that one of the cabins should probably be next to the river. Um, another one, um, its neighbor a little bit more um, isolated, but yet next to a tree. And then um, the final one I'm going to put here kind of nestled in at the um, base of the mountains in the forest area. Next, I want to add a little bit of a holiday element to some of the evergreen trees that I stamped. So I pulled out one of the tiny star stamps from the homemade Christmas stamp set, and I am stamping a star using black ink at the top of some of these evergreen trees so that they look like they are all decked out um, for the holidays um, by the, the homeowners or um, the villagers that live here in this little alpine village. And I couldn't quite leave the um, the little alpine cabins alone, so I pulled out the Riverside stamp set again, and I'm taking one of the tiny hearts that's included in that stamp set, and I'm going to stamp a little heart coming out of the chimney of the alpine cabins, um, just to give it kind of a, a cozy Christmassy type look. 
I'm all finished stamping and I have made a note card using a cardstock that's very similar to that piece of mine ink color. And now I'm just trimming off a tiny bit of the edge of the stamp panel because I really um, don't want to interfere too much with the stamping I've already done. But I just want to have a tiny bit of a border peeking through. So that looks really good there and I'm just going to grab my um, my adhesive runner and um, put some adhesive there on the back of the stamp panel, position it on the note card, and we'll go ahead and call this one done as well. Now, if there is a Waffle Flower Stamper die set that you'd like to see featured on a Throwback Thursday, please leave me a comment. For more product information, visit waffleflower.com. Visit us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.